All right, guys, this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to make a custom piece of jewelry from start to finish. We will talk about everything from how to get custom 3D designs made all the way up to making a complete finished piece, just like this one right here. Whether you want to make a custom piece of jewelry for yourself without going to a jeweler and overpaying, or you're making custom designs for your customers for your jewelry business, this video is for you. So there are three ways you can get custom designs made. The first way is by sending a picture of your logo or your design to the 3D designer. The second way is by drawing the design yourself and then sending it over to the designer. And the third way is by showing the designer a finished piece of jewelry. By far, the easiest and most common way to get 3D designs made is by sending a picture of your logo or your design to the 3D designer. Let me show you guys how to do this. So for our example, we're going to make a pendant with the initials AB. The first thing that we have to do is get a cool font. So we're going to go on the website called 1001fonts.com and on this site you can download a bunch of cool unique fonts. Let's take a look at this font right here which is called Road Rage. Let's scroll down and let's see what it will look like with the initials AB. Type in AB right here and that's perfect. So let's download this font and we can use a program like Photoshop or we can simply go on a free site like Canva, type out these two letters with a white background and save this as a PNG or a JPEG file. So here's the picture right here and we're going to send this to our 3D designer. Now, there are two main ways you can get designs made. The first way is by going on a site called cgtrader.com and finding a designer's work that you like and click on the hire me button. The problem with CG Trader is that a lot of times the designers take a long time to respond or they don't respond at all. And when you do agree on a job, there are delays and sometimes all kinds of headaches. That's why I prefer to simply get designs made on fiverr.com. Fiverr is a freelancing site and when you order on Fiverr, you know for sure your designs will be ready in a day or two. And if there are any issues, the designer will fix them and get the design done how you want it or they will refund you. It's just much easier to work with designers on Fiverr. So let's go on Fiverr.com and let's type in 3D Jewelry Design. Hit search. And let's click on Sword By. Best Selling. The listing that has Fiverr Choice, which is this one right here, will usually be really good designer and Fiverr chooses them over other sellers. As you see, this designer has 350 five-star reviews so they can do complex work. Fiverr chooses designers will usually charge more than other designers. We have a pretty simple design, so let's scroll down and find another designer. Fiverr also has a section which is called Quick Delivery Top Picks. So let's click on this designer right here and check out his work. Let's look at these pictures. And he's more than capable of making this pendant for us. Now let's scroll down a little bit and check out his reviews. Go ahead and check the box where it says Delivery Images. And let's look at some of his reviews and recent work he did for other people. Go ahead and click right here. So this right here is a basic design. Another basic ring. So this is really basic work. So these are basic rings and they all look good. So he charges $10 for a design, but that will take three days to finish. So what I'm going to do is select premium. And this is a one day service and it costs $20. Click continue and click continue again. Let's pay for the order. And now we have to describe to the designer what we want made. So we're going to type, hi, please make this pendant one inch tall, make the stones two millimeters and make the bell. Make the thickness five millimeters. Attach our file, check the box and click start order. All right, guys. So it's been a day. The designer finished the file and he sent us some pictures of it. Let's take a look at them. And as you guys see, everything looks perfect. The 3D designing program will tell you the approximate weight of the finished pieces in different precious metal carats. And as you see, he added that here. We're going to cast this in 10 karat gold, so it will weigh around 22 grams. So let's open the STL file, and you can rotate it and just make sure everything is right. Everything looks good. Now the next step is to print this into a wax or castable resin. You can get this printed professionally with a wax printer, and it will cost around $20. Or you can print it by yourself using a 3D resin printer. I will use an Elegoo Saturn printer to print this, but any printer such as the Mars Elegoo 3 and better will print super high quality resins. The Saturn is slightly more expensive and the benefit is you can print more files at once because it has a larger build plate. I truly don't think this is needed for most people. The Mars Elegoo 3 only costs $200 and it prints perfect. You will also need castable resin. You cannot make jewelry using regular resin. The resin that I use is Power Resins Resin and these resins cast perfect every time. Some people use cheaper resins that they get on Amazon, but these resins require extra steps to cure, such as curing in glycerin and UV lights, and that's just a waste of time. Power resins doesn't require any of that, you just put the resin in alcohol for 2 minutes after printing and the print is ready. Also, when you break down the cost per print, the resin is super cheap, and it only costs about a dollar to print each resin, so that's significantly cheaper than professional prints. Let's pour the resin into the printer, and the next step is to prime the build plate. 
This is very important to do if you're printing heavy models because they will fall off the build plate mid print and the print will fail. The primer will make sure they stick and don't fall. You can get away with printing pieces that are very light without a primer, but not heavy ones. They will almost always fail. So add a thin coat and again, this does not need to be cured under UV light. You can start printing right after priming. The printer will come with a USB stick which will have a software on it called Cheetobox. This is the software to print files. The software is super easy to use and it only takes about 10 seconds to get the print ready. Drag the STL file into the software. Go ahead and click add supports. Export the file and drag it onto the USB drive. Then plug in the USB stick into the printer. Find the file and click print. The file will take about 3 hours to print. So the printer is done printing. Let's take off the build plate and here is the printed resin right here. The next thing that we will do is use the spatula to take the resin off the plate and let it cure in alcohol for about 2 minutes. We will then wash off the resin in warm water and here is what the printed resin looks like. As you guys see it printed perfect and now we're going to cut off the supports. Make sure that you cut as close as you can to the model. And here is the finished resin right here. The next step is to get this print casted into a precious metal of your choice. We're going to cast this resin into 10 karat yellow gold. If you guys don't live near a caster, just send over the resin to a caster and they will charge you about $3 per gram for labor, plus the price of the gold. So if this piece weighs 23 grams, we're only going to pay around $70 for labor. The rest of the cost is for the price of the actual gold, whatever the price of gold is that day. By the way guys, the piece weighs 23 grams and the program said it would weigh 22 grams. The reason why the piece weighs a little more is because of the sprues in the back of the piece from casting. So you guys can see how accurate these 3D designing programs are. Next, we're going to get this piece polished. This is very cheap to do. Give the piece to your diamond setter or polisher and find out exactly what size stones you need. Then go ahead and buy the stones. I talk about where to get wholesale natural and lab diamonds in my course, so if you guys want to, be sure to check that out. The course will teach you everything you need to know about the jewelry business. For those of you that are interested, it will really help you out. But you can get wholesale lab VS diamonds for around $120 a carat. And yes, lab diamonds are real diamonds. They're just not made in nature and are made from real diamonds in the lab. Alright guys, and here we have the finished piece right here. As you guys see, it came out perfect. So any of you can make your own custom piece of jewelry. You can send resins and waxes and have casted pieces sent back to you. And then you can get any jeweler to set stones and polish the piece for you if you don't live near Diamond District. I just want to be very clear with you guys that the reason that I make these videos is not because I think jewelry is cool or because I'm into jewelry. The reason why I make these videos is to teach you how to be an entrepreneur and start a jewelry business because it's something that everyone can do and you don't need a lot of money to start. I'm in no way encouraging or promoting buying liabilities to make it seem like it's the cool thing to do. But if you want to reward yourself for something and buy a custom piece of jewelry for yourself, there's nothing wrong with that. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys in the next one.